How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be checking out Hook Road, uh, the windshield frame cover for the JK. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray. All right, now that you have everything opened up, um, we wanna take a look at our instructions here and make sure we have everything. I have the top piece, two middle pieces, two bottom pieces in the center section. You have your brackets and all your bolts. You count all your bolts and washers so you know you have everything you need. You should have 14 nuts. Uh, should have 12 washers, 12 lock washers, the longer bolts you should have 12 of, and then you should have 14 shorter bolts. Um, and even check your pod lights that go on top. Make sure you have all the hardware for that. So once you get it up on there, you're not struggling, you know, trying to find a bolt or whatever it may be. A nice little picture for you just in case. All right, for the tools, I'm going to be using some power tools. I'm going to be using a bit driver with an adapter on it. Um, you don't need this. You can use a ratchet. So you are going to need a drill bit and a drill, a quarter inch drill bit to drill out some spot welds. You're going to need a black marker, channel locks, T27 bit, a T40 bit, a 10 millimeter, a five, number five Allen, and a half inch socket. And like I said, a ratchet if you're going to use a ratchet. I'm going to be using power tools. I'm going to use the ratchet to tighten it up with. So these are the tools that you're going to need. So on both sides, you're going to have to take these bolts out. You're going to have to take these bolts out, which you're not going to have this bracket if you have a Wrangler that's stock or you don't have these. And you're going to have to, have to take these bolts out because this cow has to come off. And you have to take your windshield wipers off, which that's why we have the channel locks. So I'll show you how to get those off easy. All right, when it comes to your windshield wiper, I like to mark it right here, like this. You just flip this cap up. You take your half inch. And this is where the channel locks come into play. It pops right off. You got that off you have some little clips right here you should be able to just pull up on the cow and it should pop up all right now you got your cow piece off this is what you're left with on both sides you want to clean this up before you install anything over this but there's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts down here on both sides and then you're going to pull this back there's going to be some spot welds right there. One, two, three, and four. You got to drill those out on both sides. So this 
will come off. So after you get all the spot welds drilled out, you can just kind of rock it back and forth. Now we're going to go over to the driver's side. All right, this should be what you're left with on both sides. Actually looks pretty good. Spray some spray paint on these so it don't rust. Like I said, I drilled holes in these so I could reach in here and put nuts and bolts if I had to reuse the corner panel. Um, but I'm not planning on going back, but I'm gonna keep that stuff just in case. You keep the stock hardware within reach because you're gonna have to reuse some of it. These are the 10 millimeter bolts and what you want to do is put this bracket loosely right here so we got this side installed and that side over there um, I'm leaving this a little bit loose so it has a little bit of wiggle room so when we can put the piece on here we can uh, line it up um, I'm just putting it finger tight to where it starts pulling it down where it can move a little bit so that way we can adjust it as we go so we're gonna come over here and grab this bracket. It goes right here on this pillar. You just wanna put all your bolts back in that you took out, your stock hardware. Go ahead and tighten it down. We went ahead and put this side on. You should have this on both sides. All right, since I'm out here doing this by myself, I don't have anybody to help me put this windshield up on there if I put it all together because it is you know, decently heavy. I could probably lift it up on there, but I don't want to drop it on my hood. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and bolt this plate to there and loosely fit it on the Jeep. And I'll build this around the Jeep, which you'll see here in a minute. So you wanna go ahead and take your longer bolt that don't have the square on it and put a lock washer and a regular washer on here. And I'm just gonna loosely put it right here. And then this leaves me room to pull this forward like this So always remember your short side goes on the door side. So you want to grab your short bolts like this, has a little square in it that holds it, and grab your nuts. So we got both sides finger tight. Got that side over there finger tight. Just one bolt right here so I can move this around. So we did this on both sides. All right, so the next thing we gotta do is put the middle piece in right here um, and that'll straighten up the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right, so like I said, I left all this loose so I can really get play out of it. It still moves around. Um, we put our center piece in. We got both sides of these piece in. Now we gotta focus on the top. Now before we put this piece in, we wanna go ahead and put our LED pod lights in here. 
We're going to put them in here, tighten up the brackets, but leave the light loose so we can adjust it at dark. But you want to put your bracket in first before you put this piece in. A lot of people put this whole frame together and then lift it up on the Jeep. Like I said, I'm doing this by myself. I want people to do this by themselves. Um, that way, if you don't have somebody offhand to do it or, you, you know, um, you're somewhere and you just bought it for a good deal or whatever and you want to put it on and you don't want to wait, it can be done without another person. Bracket bolts there. So you want to go ahead, put your bracket on like this. That way it's setting down. You just drop your nut in right there. Line it up. And it has a catch for your nut. Comes with the Allen wrench to tighten it up. You just kind of want to snug it to where you can still move this. Then we want to go ahead and drop this side in. and snug it up then move your bracket right here stick your long bolt in it has a catch also and then you can stick it on your mallet so I'm going to show you a little trick on how to get these nuts down in here because a lot of people try to drop them they'll use a magnet as you can see that one just went down in there but missed so here's what i figured out to do is you go ahead and put your bracket on like this okay and then move your bracket over like this it's hard to see i just lay it i lay it on the bracket like this and it scoots right down into place. So that's basically all I do to get the nut in the nut slot. And it goes right in. Um, beats fooling around with a magnet. Um, a lot of people don't have a magnet. And honestly, this is uh, the way I've been doing it. And it hasn't been taking that long. I'll try to get a better shot here. But basically, you just want to turn your bracket over. Stick your nut right here and just go forward with it. And I'll turn it so you guys can see it. As you can see, it set right down in the slot. Once it goes down in the slot, you just go ahead and snug her up just a hair, not too tight. That's where you can still move it around. Now that you got all them installed, go ahead and center them up and then take a 13 millimeter socket to the to the nut on the back side of this. That way it'll keep this bracket solid, but you can still move this up and down. All right, we got everything loosely fitted on the Jeep. I still have these bolts right here and these bolts right here. Um, and then we can tighten everything up. So don't forget to put your bolts here and here and here and your bracket here. Once you put the bolts in this bracket, you can reach down in here and actually tighten it up.
either have to lift the hood to get this one down in here or take a wrench and tighten it. So everything is tightened up. It looks super rad. Uh, as far as the wiring goes, I'm gonna run these lights down around and hook them to the harness that it was already there where my pod lights were. I drilled a hole in it to put my CB antenna. That's basically it on the install. Um, it's super easy to do the way I did it if you are by yourself. So I've been wanting protection on my Jeep and I don't like limb risers because I really don't need them down here in West Virginia, the places that we go. We do get into some brush, but I think limb risers would be unuseful for me and I don't want to get stuff just for looks. And although limb risers do look pretty cool, um, I wanted something with a little bit of protection, but something that's not going to be in the way or... I'm never going to use. So this is what I like about this windshield frame protector. Um, it comes down and, and it sticks out away from the window a little bit. And I honestly like that. It's going to give me enough protection in the woods where, you know, to keep the brush off my windshield. The number one problem I had where we go is when we go to a certain spot on a trail, a branch would always slap the top of the windshield. Well, if this little duck bill uh, sticking out in the front, it'll actually help you know, that brush keep from, you know, from slapping the windshield. So that's what I like about this windshield frame cover and the install is super easy. It looks clean. It got rid of the pod lights down by my windshield. I like those, but it just made the JK look out of place. Um, I don't like a bunch of light bars and stuff on my Jeep. Uh, the two light pods that I had were perfect enough. It lit up the woods good enough. So I have four on top that look in place now. They don't look out of place. Um, the windshield cover did go together flawlessly. Honestly, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. It went together. No problem. The bolts went in. And all, none of the hardware was missing. Nothing was missing. The only problem I had is with my carrier. Um, not mentioning names. They pretty much drug the guy. It must have been too heavy for the guy. He drug it across my walkway. And the box disintegrated right there on my porch. So they pretty much did the unboxing right there on my porch. Uh, the overall unboxing is beautiful they bag it they make sure they strengthen the box with little pieces of plywood it's just my carrier didn't really you know treat it right they just always throw stuff around uh in the area that i that i'm in i always get packages that are all ripped up and tore up when it comes to jeep parts but the company's flawless um the customer service is like right now if you have any questions if you get anything missing i have no complaints on this thing for one, it makes your Jeep look nasty. And another thing, it makes your Jeep have a little bit of protection. Now, it, the only thing people don't like about this is down by the windshield wipers, it is open. And that freaks a lot of people out. But honestly, the cowl that was on the Jeep itself that we took off, water gets down there anyway. So it's no big deal. One thing I like about it is it's easy to access the windshield wiper motor when it goes out. Um... It's a little tight with the windshield wipers, but it's nothing, you know, if you work on your own Jeep, it's nothing you can't handle. Everything is beautiful in this uh, kit that we got here. I'll leave the links in the description down below for Hook Road. They have tons of products for Jeeps, Jeep XJs, JKs, all kinds of Toyotas. They have pretty much everything for your vehicle. And it's not cheap Amazon stuff. It's, it's pretty nice, durable stuff. This windshield frame... It's actually pretty thick, and I do enjoy the weight that it is. It's not flimsy sheet metal, and I know it's not going to bend when I slap something with it. Go check them out. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.